Hey guys, I'm going to show you today uh, how I create this uh, social media button um, that floating. So if I scroll down, that social media button stay there. And if I put roll in, roll on and roll out, it has effect to fade in and fade out. And I'm going to show you how to make these social media buttons with a valid XHTML code. So if I'm going to copy my URL, and paste that in as you can see now and i'm going to revalidate to check again if that's valid you see it's valid so it's quite nice so uh, this is the uh, end of the result uh, it has uh, facebook's uh, stumble upon tick and twitter um, icon don't worry this twitter icon is somehow today is not working from twitter you, as you can see it should uh, appear like this and we're going to make that and why we don't choose uh, from tweet mimi so it's like this because tweet mimi has a uh, slow down my site and i'm going to change this after the tutorial as well to be this way if uh, uh, this uh, iframe from twitter show perfectly again i'm going to change uh, this to that one so i'm i just have two in my site because i don't like to have a lot like this because it slows down my site anyway so and I have uh, the simple one without uh, JavaScript here so I'm going to show you how and if you want you can also uh, minimize to two of them or three of them whatever but today I'm going to um, give uh, to give you example a lot of them so if I put my uh, browser there and as you can see it has one two three four five Twitter and then uh, Google Plus and then uh, Facebook and stumble upon and tick and uh, all of them uh, are HTML valid so if you check your post and going to validate in this um, W3C it's going to be validated so the first step is you go to dashboard and appearance and editor and find here make sure it's 2010 I'm going to use 2010 but of course you can use other, um, other theme as well so now if you are showing if we are in single post.php uh sorry single.php then we go to scroll down this file and find uh the code which is uh closing div there it is and it's closing div entry dash content we're going to paste the code here so make sure that it's before this code so you're going to paste that code that i will provide copy that code here right and save file by updating file and going scroll down find style sheet file which is style.css going to click on that and scroll down and paste the code there now don't worry I'm oh, I've already tried this position and so on so it will be fit in 2010 theme but if you use 2010 uh, add theme then you're going to adjust yourself so as you can see now uh, on home page it will not appear because we pasted in single post uh, page but now as you can see it's appearing don't worry about the tweet uh, twitter button because it will appear maybe tomorrow so uh, there it is you have it so you can adjust the top position and the margin left you can adjust it uh, accordingly to your theme so don't forget to check the validator if uh, going to pass and it should pass if not then you're going to check uh, the other things which can cause uh, the error in w3c that's all guys and thank you for watching goodbye